Miracle is an interesting word. I think that when we hear it, it can make us a little bit nervous. Um, I was just talking to somebody at my diocese today saying, I don't regard myself as a radical. I try to love everybody. I think when we think of radical, we, we think of people who are um, abrasive, maybe, would be a word. Um, people who have little patience for other people. And really, that's not what radical means at all. I think it's, it's one of those words we need to take back and own. Because radical actually is about the root or the foundation. And the foundation of Christianity is, of course, Jesus Christ. And when you think about it, in its own way, Jesus' message was quite radical. To love people, to love God, to do what you can for other people and to always, always keep your eye, basically keep your eye on the prize, keep your eye on the Lord, keep your eye on his people, and don't let the noise that's going around you with people judging you or people thinking this might be right or that might be right or whether you're wearing the right clothes or you've got the right haircut, those, it's all dross, as St. Paul would write. Um, and these women got that. It's not to say that they weren't of the world. I mean, you think about people like Mother Teresa, who um, certainly was was in the world of, um, again, Gianna Bretamola, who had children, who was a doctor herself. And yet, while they were in the world, they were not of the world. They kept, that's what made them radical, that their focus was not on who liked them and didn't like them and how good their hair looked or how great their clothes looked. So this is not to say that, that they were indifferent, but they knew what was important. And that is radical. It was radical in their time when uh, Dolce of Brazil went and lived in a chicken coop with people because she had nowhere else um, for the people that she needed to help to live. And so she joined them. It was radical then and it's radical today and we're all called to be radicals.